Hi, so today we're gonna to be demonstrating and showing you guys the cerebral oximetry machine. Um, so this can be used for patients in the OR, it can be used for um, patients who have had a stroke or traumatic brain injury. Um, also, you can use it on extremities. So maybe you're concerned about compartment syndrome or um, you have an impella device in place and you wanna assess the um, tissue perfusion of the leg. Um, so there's a couple of different uses that we can utilize this for. Um, this lives in the closet um, outside of the ICU. And here you plug it in, you turn the on button. And then we can hold down the green button. All right, so we'll select new patient and then we will toggle through and um, select our patient's name and I'm just doing numbers right now for ease of getting through this here. Select done and now we have left and right. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this in on the side. As you can see, this is labeled one and two, and this is labeled one and two. I'll go ahead and plug that in. We also have labels here, one and two. You'll find the cords that correspond with that. and lock in place. All right, so we have plugged in our number one and number two. We can hang it wherever we want. We have our patient. Hello, patient. I'm going to lie their head down a little bit. And then we will prep the site with some alcohol. So we have um, the two ends, we'll just plug these in. And it says left is one, right is two. So we will, we've already prepped the patient's forehead. It's a little sticky back. And you wanna make sure that there's no hair in the way. And then our most important button, the audio alarm off and on. So right now is on, right now is off. We have um, the left is 70, right is 68. There's sometimes a normal um, difference between the left and the right side. Um, so we wanna set our baseline. So let's pretend that this patient is um, gonna have uh, induction of anesthesia soon we're gonna set our baseline so that we know um, what her baseline is. So now we have a record of her baseline here. So our range is 50 to 80 is normal range. So if you drop less than 50, or if you have an overall reduction of 20% or more in the patient's cerebral oximetry, then that is a concern and we need to address it, notify the provider. We have numbers and we also have a graph so you can see over the course of time. So as you can see, um, the SSI is like a quality indicator of um, how well the pads are in contact with the patient. 
Um, and then we also have alarm limits that can be set. We can go to next menu and then user configuration. And you can toggle through these um, channel one and two upper alarm limits are set at 90 lower alarms are 57 and 54 um, to accommodate for um, a common difference between the left and the right sides. So this patient is agitated and um, she is starting to pick at her cerebral oximetry. And pretty soon you can see that on the left it says poor signal quality. And if I had the alarm on, it might beep. There you go. And that concludes our cerebral oximetry video. If you want to see more videos or get some quick guides, you can go um, to Google and, and Google Medtronic um, Invos Oximeter, and it'll pop up a bunch of videos for you.